Oak Island, famous for its mysterious treasure, now faces the impact of its secrets on those who hunt for it. The sudden disappearance of treasure hunter Dave Blankenship has shocked the dedicated community. Dave, who devoted his life to finding Oak Island's treasures after his father's death, has vanished without explanation. Speculations buzzed online with rumors suggesting he may be dead. But the truth behind Dave's absence is even more surprising, revealing a story as intriguing as the island's legendary mysteries. Join as we investigate the story of why Dave Blankenship just left the island, the sudden disappearance of Dave Blankenship. As stories from the past continue to be heard, the Blankenship family's history surfaced from the deep grounds of Oak Island. Dave, given his family's illustrious legacy in the field, embarked on a quest to honor his father, the legendary Dan Blankenship. Despite the challenges and uncertainties surrounding Oak Island's mysterious history, the Blankenships stood as stalwart figures in the ongoing saga, contributing not only their physical efforts but also their unwavering dedication to solving the island's enigma. Through the years, the Blankenships became a symbol of resilience and determination in the face of the unknown, leaving an indelible mark on the history of Oak Island and the broader treasure hunting community. The Blankenship family's story intertwined with the very fabric of Oak Island, adding layers to the ongoing narrative of mystery, intrigue, and the pursuit of hidden treasures. Dave Blankenship, born into a legacy of treasure hunting, played a pivotal role in the Oak Island narrative. As the son of the renowned treasure hunting pioneer Dan Blankenship, Dave inherited not only the adventurous spirit of his father, but also a deep connection to the mysteries of Oak Island. Following in his father's footsteps, Dave inherited the challenging journey that his father had embarked upon decades earlier. However, the storyline took an unexpected turn when Dave Blankenship suddenly vanished from the show. This left his fans in a state of confusion and concern. The absence of any clear explanation for his departure added to the mystery. Everyone invested in the Oak Island and the Blankenship legacy was left grappling with unanswered questions creating a sense of uncertainty and puzzlement surrounding Dave's abrupt exit from the treasure hunt endeavor. As the son of the pioneering treasure hunter, Dan Blankenship, there was a natural expectation that Dave would play a significant role in the ongoing quest to unveil Oak Island's secrets. Fans anticipated that Dave would become a key figure in the treasure hunting operations. The Blankenship family's name had become synonymous with the Oak Island narrative, and everyone eagerly awaited Dave's active involvement Little did they know that their hero was about to go missing. In the wake of Dave Blankenship's sudden absence from the Oak Island treasure hunt, a wave of rumors and speculation swept through the community of avid followers. The void left by Dave's departure triggered a range of conjectures, primarily centered around concerns about his well-being. One rumor hinted at health-related issues, suggesting that Dave might be facing an undisclosed illness. Speculations about potential health complications fueled discussions among fans, amplifying the mystery surrounding his sudden exit. The mere possibility of health concerns contributed to the heightened interest and worry among viewers. Additionally, whispers of a more ominous nature circulated within the Oak Island community. Some speculations even ventured into the realm of suggesting a potential demise, causing a ripple effect of concern and unease. The lack of official information or statements intensified the speculative nature of these rumors, leaving fans grappling with uncertainty and a sense of foreboding. As the Oak Island enthusiasts engaged in discussions and debates online, the rumors surrounding Dave's absence continued to evolve, creating an atmosphere of anticipation and curiosity about the true reasons behind his unexpected departure from the treasure hunt. Is Dave dead? This treasure hunt, a symphony of intrigue, took an unexpected turn. Fans worldwide were left in suspense as Dave Blankenship vanished without a trace. Why did this seasoned explorer, woven into the very fabric of Oak Island, suddenly disappear? The online forums became a breeding ground for theories and conjectures as fans, much like the treasure hunters on the show, sought to unearth the truth behind Dave Blankenship's mysterious vanishing act. Each keystroke and post added another layer of suspense to a narrative that seemed to stretch beyond the boundaries of a reality TV show 
echoing the age-old secrets guarded by Oak Island itself. In the realm of mystery surrounding Oak Island, Dave Blankenship, known for keeping his personal life away from the camera, suddenly vanished from the show. This absence sparked a wave of speculation among fans, eager to uncover the reason behind his mysterious departure. With Dave's limited social media presence, the enigma deepened, leaving devoted followers puzzled and concerned about his whereabouts. As whispers of his absence echoed through online forums, a quick Google search added a bizarre twist to the unfolding drama. An obituary surfaced, bearing the name David Blankenship, creating confusion and further fueling the suspense. Fans, grappling with the uncertainty of Dave's disappearance, were confronted with an unexpected twist, an obituary for a man who shared the same name as the famed treasure hunter. The Oak Island community found itself entangled in a web of mystery, unsure of whether Dave Blankenship was truly missing or if the obituary was a strange coincidence. Amidst the speculation and confusion, one thing remained clear. Dave Blankenship was indeed alive and well, but the shadows of uncertainty continued to cast a veil over the true reasons behind his absence from the treasure hunt. The unfolding drama added a layer of intrigue to the Oak Island narrative with the speculation of a grave illness, leaving fans eagerly awaiting the resolution of this perplexing chapter in the ongoing saga. Dave got COVID? Amidst these shadows of online forums, whispers of speculation echoed, raising questions about the mysterious departure of Dave Blankenship from the reality show. The devoted fan base, hungry for answers, sought to unravel the enigma that veiled the truth behind his absence. As discussions unfolded, a prevailing thread of speculation emerged, a potential health crisis. Fans on Reddit dived into the possibility that Dave's sudden exit might be linked to underlying health issues. The ongoing global pandemic at that time only intensified concerns, leading some to wonder whether Dave, given his age and potential vulnerabilities, made a preemptive decision to safeguard himself amid the uncertainties. Rumors swirled through the virtual corridors of Oak Island enthusiasts, creating an atmosphere of uncertainty. Was it indeed a health crisis that prompted Dave's departure, or did the mystery extend beyond the grasp of the pandemic? As the fan base grappled with these questions, the narrative took an unexpected turn. The whispers suggested that Dave, in prioritizing his well-being, chose to step away from the production. However, the truth remained elusive, lurking in the uncharted territories of Oak Island's secrets. Some even connected this to Dave's illness, which was clearly visible throughout his time on the show. Dave's great downfall. If you've known Dave Blankenship for a while, you might have noticed something about the way he walks, a slight limp and a preference for not using his left arm much. It's not a random habit. It's a result of a big event that left a lasting impact on him. This visible aspect of Dave's movements tells a story of strength and determination, a reminder of the difficulties he encountered during his time as a treasure hunter on Oak Island. Blankenship, a treasure hunter since the 1970s, alongside his father Dan, embarked on a quest for legendary wealth and artifacts in Nova Scotia's excavation haven. Their pursuit predates the arrival of series stars Marty and Rick Legina. Renowned for his willingness to tackle the challenges of a dig, the younger Blankenship is not averse to getting his hands dirty, both on and off Oak Island. In fact, during the mid-1980s, David ventured into a stint as a steel worker, showcasing his dedication to hands-on endeavors. There, his toughness was put to the test. In 1986, when Dave was 36 years of age, a gripping incident unfolded that left the community on edge. Dave Blankenship, a dedicated seeker of hidden treasures, faced a life-threatening situation during his early days on a construction site. Imagine him high up on a crane, the very symbol of adventure, when suddenly a cable mishap occurred. The crane cable carrying a five-ton air compressor snapped, causing the compressor to go flying. The cable started whipping around and struck David on his knees, he crashed through the crane cab's windshield and fell from a height of about 45 feet. Now, here's the twist in the tale. Dave miraculously survived this perilous plunge. But the story doesn't end there. The safety helmet he was wearing played a dual role, saving him from one danger but triggering another. 
It disengaged an artery, leading to a stroke. Picture the tension in the air as Dave grapples with the aftermath of this breathtaking incident. This left him partially paralyzed and in a comatose state. Doctors told his family that he would not be able to get out of bed again. In the face of adversity, Dave's resilience shone through. He embarked on a challenging path of recovery, undergoing intensive physical therapy to regain what was lost during the fall. This unexpected turn of events became a defining moment in Dave Blankenship's treasure hunting journey, showcasing not only the dangers that lurk in the pursuit of Oak Island's mysteries, but also the unwavering spirit of those who dare to seek the unknown. According to Dave's biography on the channel, he has faced limited mobility for more than 30 years due to the accident, but it has never hindered his pace. The biography notes that despite the challenges, he can outmatch individuals half his age and frequently engages in such endeavors. It was a rare and life-changing tragedy that continues to impact David Blankenship to this day. A stroke of misfortune from which he was truly fortunate to survive and make a recovery. He shared this revelation in his Drilling Down recap, but there's more to the story. The real reasons for his disappearance are also intertwined with this revelation, which we will cover further in the video. This controversy surrounding Dave Blankenship's departure from the Oak Island treasure hunt took a dramatic turn with the emergence of his own feelings. The deleted Facebook post. With his own feelings that were vividly expressed in a now-deleted Facebook post, the speculation went down. This social media revelation added a layer of intensity to the ongoing discourse within the Oak Island community. In the deleted post, Dave freely expressed his sentiments about the treatment of his father's legacy by the producers of the show. He conveyed a sense of frustration and disappointment, particularly emphasizing that important decisions were being made without adequate consideration for Dan Blankenship's integral role in the treasure hunting narrative. The post read, I have quit the show when they left 50 years out of my dad and went restall to Lajanus. It further said, That night I quit and they will not say anything about me. The post provided a rare glimpse into Dave's personal perspective, intensifying discussions among fans. The impact of Dave's Facebook post on the Oak Island community was palpable. Fans reacted with a mix of support, understanding, and curiosity. Some resonated with Dave's sentiments, expressing solidarity. With his decision to distance himself from the show in protest of what he perceived as a lack of acknowledgement of his father's contributions. However, the post also stirred a degree of controversy within the fan base. Views were divided, and discussions on social media platforms became more fervent. The controversy became a focal point for fans, prompting them to reassess the show's dynamics, the treatment of veteran treasure hunters, and the overall narrative direction. The deletion of the Facebook post added an air of mystery and intrigue, leaving fans to decipher the nuances of Dave's feelings and the subsequent impact on the Oak Island community. The controversy played out in the digital realm and became a significant chapter in the ongoing saga of Oak Island contributing to the collective discourse among devoted followers of the treasure hunt. The wait, however, is over, and it's time to kill the speculations. Dave's return in Drilling Down. In a special episode of Drilling Down, the truth began to surface. Retirement, they said. But was it a serene exit or a stormy departure? What lay behind the curtain of Dave's silence, and was it a shocking truth waiting to be revealed? All this was uncovered in Dave Blankenship's return. He made a notable return to the Oak Island narrative with his appearance in the spin-off series, Drilling Down. The show's host, Matty Blake, dived into various topics related to Dave's role in his father's decades-long treasure hunt. The Drilling Down series provides a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the lives and activities of the Oak Island Fellowship members, featuring in-depth conversations with them. During the episode, Matty Blake engaged Dave in a conversation that touched upon crucial aspects of his involvement in the Oak Island treasure hunt. While the discussion didn't provide a deeper insight into the reasons for Dave's departure, it did shed light on his perspectives and experiences throughout the years. The topics covered ranged from Dave's role as a treasure hunter to his reflections on his father's achievements on the island. 
While the episode did not offer a concrete resolution to the questions surrounding Dave's absence from the main series, it provided Oak Island enthusiasts with a valuable glimpse into his thoughts and experiences. Dave's return to Drilling Down served as a moment of connection between the veteran treasure hunter and the dedicated following eager for insights into the Oak Island saga. Reports surfaced, weaving a tale of discontent. Dave, dissatisfied with how his father's legacy was treated, took a step back. The very essence of Oak Island's history hung in the balance, its reflection tainted by perceived injustice. Dave Blankenship's dissatisfaction stems from the perceived mishandling of his father's legacy, a legacy intricately woven into the fabric of Oak Island's history. According to Dave's statement in an interview, he expressed discontent with the producers of the show for overlooking his father's crucial role in the treasure hunting operations. In Dave's view, decisions pivotal to the narrative were unfolding without proper acknowledgement of Dan Blankenship's contributions. But there is more to the story. There is revenge and the outcomes of that might be the reason for Dave's disappearance. But why is all this connected to Dave's father? The revenge for his father. As Dave affirmed that his departure was intricately tied to his dissatisfaction with how his father's legacy was being handled by the producers of the show. Now, considering that Dave's father, the groundbreaking treasure hunter, Dan Blankenship, played a major role in Oak Island, it raises the question of why Dave felt the need to seek revenge for his father. To understand the reasons behind this revenge, we need to explore the connection between Dave's father and Oak Island. Dan Blankenship, a U.S. Army veteran turned contractor, ventured into the world of treasure hunting after settling in Nova Scotia in the 1960s. His decision to explore Oak Island became a defining moment in his life. Dan Blankenship played a crucial role as a partner to Rick and Marty Legina. He was highly regarded and respected within the Oak Island community. His journey began in 1965 when, like the Legina brothers, he read about the island's treasure in the Reader's Digest. For almost 50 years, Dan dedicated his life to searching for the treasure in the enigmatic Oak Island, becoming a repository of knowledge on the myths and theories surrounding Oak Island. His unwavering commitment and tireless efforts became the stuff of legends in the Oak Island community, turning him into a respected veteran of the treasure hunting realm. In 2019, the world bid farewell to this remarkable figure, leaving behind a legacy that would echo through the halls of Oak Island's history. Dan Blankenship's legacy became a guiding light for his son, Dave Blankenship, who inherited not only his father's name, but also the profound mission to unravel the mysteries concealed within the depths of Oak Island. The Blankenship name, synonymous with determination and perseverance, became a symbol of the unyielding spirit required to navigate the intricate web of secrets that Oak Island held. As Dave stepped into the shoes of his illustrious father, he carried forward the torch, adding a new chapter to the Blankenship saga in the pursuit of Oak Island's hidden treasures. About the dissatisfaction, according to Dave, his father's integral role in the treasure hunting operations seemed to be overlooked, and decisions crucial to the narrative often unfolded without the inclusion of Dan Blankenship's input. Expressing his concern and disappointment, Dave highlighted a perceived disregard for his father's contributions. The dissatisfaction revolves around the belief that the show was disproportionately focusing on other past treasure hunters. Sidelining the significance of Dan Blankenship's enduring commitment and tireless efforts. The perceived disregard for his father's integral role became a pivotal factor in Dave's decision to distance himself from the ongoing treasure hunt endeavors on Oak Island. This dissatisfaction reflects a deep sense of loyalty and respect for his father's legacy, prompting Dave to take a stand for the recognition he believes his father deserves in the captivating saga of Oak Island. Dave's statement not only provided insight into the personal motivations behind his departure, but also fueled discussions among fans about the dynamics within the production of the show and the significance of honoring the legacy of Oak Island's veteran treasure hunters. Where is Dave now? 
People keep watching the Legina brothers and their team as they try to figure out the mysteries of Oak Island. Besides the brothers, David Blankenship is another interesting person of the show. He's known for his strong language, sometimes making the channel bleep out his words. Dave does a great job carrying on the Blankenship family legacy on the island. His unique presence adds to the diverse and memorable group of people working to uncover Oak Island's secrets. Once married, David Blankenship's relationship faced troubles and ended in divorce. He moved to Oak Island to help his father in the treasure hunt. However, David has kept his marital details private, not sharing how he met his wife or the reasons behind their divorce. Currently, he seems to be single and hasn't disclosed any romantic relationships. David prefers to keep his personal and professional life separate. Even though he doesn't make appearances on the show, Dave still retains ownership of some land on the Nova Scotia island. In his Revealing Drilling Down episode, Dave disclosed that despite stepping back from the day-to-day -day treasure hunting activities on the Oak Island and not having a formal role on the show, he maintains a strong connection with Rick, Marty, and the entire team. Dave went on to share that he still makes periodic visits to the active sites on the island. While he may not be actively involved, he doesn't miss out on the excitement, as he humorously mentioned that he will still get his fair share of the spendables if the team unearths something particularly exciting. This connection underscores the enduring camaraderie and shared passion for Oak Island's mysteries that bind Dave to the team, even in his more limited role. Dan Blankenship, a beloved figure in the Fellowship of the Dig, has been a fan favorite with a rich history on Oak Island dating back to the mid-60s. In 1965, Dan and his son Dave embarked on their inaugural trip to Oak Island, marking the beginning of their enduring connection with the mysterious site. By 1966, Dave decided to fully join his father in the quest for treasures buried beneath the island's surface. Taking a significant step in 1969, Dave made Oak Island his more permanent residence after going through a divorce. Tragedy struck in 1986 when Dan Blankenship faced a severe accident, marking a challenging period for the Blankenship family. Despite the setback, their dedication to Oak Island persisted. Fast forward to 2013, the start of filming for a series that brought the island's mysteries to a global following. In 2020, after decades of active involvement, Dave decided to retire from the day-to-day -day treasure hunting activities, signifying a transition in the Blankenship legacy on Oak Island. Dave Blankenship's involvement in the Oak Island transcended his on-screen presence as a treasure hunter. Until 2016, he assumed the dual role of not just an explorer, but also a producer, diving into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the show. In this capacity, Dave actively contributed to shaping the narrative and presentation of the treasure hunting endeavors featured in the series. His multifaceted role added another layer to the exploration of Oak Island's mysteries, providing people with a unique perspective. Beyond his adventures on the island, Dave's insights and contributions as a producer played a crucial part in enhancing the overall storytelling of the show. His wealth of knowledge and experience stemming from years of involvement in the treasure hunting pursuits alongside his father, Dan Blankenship, brought authenticity and depth to the unfolding mysteries. The reasons behind his decision to step away from the role of a producer have not been extensively detailed, leaving fans curious about this aspect of his journey with the island. As the series continues to captivate audiences with its quest for hidden treasures, Dave Blankenship's legacy remains intertwined with both the visible and behind-the-scenes elements of this intriguing exploration. A look into Dave's net worth is also interesting. While concrete details about Dave Blankenship's financial status remain private, it's reasonable to assume that his involvement in the treasure hunting operations on Oak Island, coupled with his role as a producer, contributed to his financial well-being. As of late 2021, Dave's net worth is estimated to be over $1 million, although the exact figure remains speculative. But according to another source, Dave Blankenship's net worth is estimated at $8 million. Apart from the show, Dave's presumed inheritance of Dan Blankenship's ownership stakes in Oak Island adds a layer to his financial portfolio. The Blankenship family's long-standing connection to the island 
coupled with their involvement in its exploration and ownership, likely holds financial implications that contribute to Dave's overall financial status. While there is no explicit information about additional sources of income, it's plausible that Dave may have other ventures or investments that contribute to his financial stability. However, these details are not publicly disclosed, leaving room for speculation about the entirety of Dave Blankenship's financial portfolio. Dave and the Future of Oak Island Mysteries eh. Even though Dave Blankenship has stepped away from the primary series, a sense of curiosity persists regarding the potential of his return. While available information doesn't explicitly outline Dave's future involvement, subtle indications suggest that a comeback might not be entirely off the table. Dave's relationship with the production appeared strained, evident in his dissatisfaction with how his father's legacy was handled. However, his presence on Drilling Down implies an ongoing connection to the Oak Island narrative. His participation in a dedicated episode about his role in the treasure hunt implies sustained engagement with the broader Oak Island community. Although details about any potential return remain undisclosed by the production, the Drilling Down episode underscores that Dave Blankenship's ties with Oak Island haven't been completely severed. As fans eagerly anticipate more information, there's a glimmer of hope that Dave could reappear in the main series or partake in future episodes, bringing his distinctive perspective to the ongoing exploration of Oak Island's mysteries. If you've been keeping up with the Oak Island's excavations, endeavors, and undertakings over the years, you might be aware of Dave's particular fondness for what the team now affectionately calls the 10X Tunnel. Dave, alongside his father Dan, initiated the exploration of this tunnel in 1969 and, in fact, took on the task of reconstructing a significant portion of it following a close encounter with a collapse early in the project. Given this history, it's no surprise that even today, Dave maintains his belief that the key to most of Oak Island's perplexing mysteries, including its buried treasures, lies within the depths of this tunnel. Speaking to the host of Drilling Down, Dave emphasized that, in his opinion, completing the 10X should remain a top priority for the Legina brothers in the future. The ownership history of Oak Island, which might be a factor in Dave's disappearance, weaves a complex tale involving pivotal figures such as his father, Dan Blankenship, David Tobias, and eventually the Legina brothers. The details give more on the dissatisfaction of Dave Blankenship. In the 1960s, Dan Blankenship formed the Triton Alliance, a partnership that included individuals like David Tobias, Fred Nolan, and Robert Dunfield. Official excavations began in 1967, with Triton Alliance digging a shaft as deep as 180 feet, about 55 meters. Challenges in the early 1980s led to the dissolution of the Triton Alliance, with Fred Nolan facing legal issues over his shares. Despite the partnership's disbandment, Dan Blankenship persisted in his treasure hunt journey. The ownership landscape saw a shift when the Michigan Group, formed by the Legina brothers Rick and Marty and Craig Tester, expressed interest. The Legina brothers' passion for treasure hunting aligned with Dan Blankenship's vision. The Michigan Group acquired shares in 2006, with Oak Island Tours established to facilitate tourist activities. Judy Street, then the Minister of Tourism, expressed disapproval over the ownership deal, suggesting provincial ownership for the benefit of everyone. Dan Blankenship, despite initial wariness, continued his dedication until his passing in 2019. The treasure hunt on Oak Island spanned centuries, marked by partnerships, setbacks, and discoveries. Daniel McGuinness's 1795 discovery marked the first indication of potential treasure. Numerous theories surround the buried treasure, involving legendary pirates, Spanish inquisitors, the French army, and British sailors. The elusive money pit remains the focal point, attracting extensive explorations from various companies since the 1800s. Documented deaths and the rumored curse have added complexity to the narrative. The curse suggests that seven people have died before on their journey to find the treasure. Dan Blankenship's interest began in 1965, forming the Triton Alliance and dedicating 53 years to exploring the island. Despite challenges, including legal issues and financial constraints, 
Dan remained steadfast until his passing in 2019. Rick and Marty Legina's entry brought new financial support and a renewed focus. The Oak Island follows their exploration efforts and partnerships. The treasure hunt continues as an ongoing saga, blending historical intrigue, legends, and the unyielding determination of treasure hunters across generations, evolving with each quest for the elusive treasure and the mysteries shrouding the island's history. This history also shows the dedication of Dan to the island and Dave's distance from the saga. The arrival of Rick and Marty Legina onto the stage of Oak Island marked a crucial juncture in the long-standing treasure hunt, ushering in a new era of exploration and intrigue. Their involvement became a linchpin that would not only reshape the trajectory of the quest, but also establish the Legina brothers as central figures in the Oak Island narrative. The transition in ownership dynamics on Oak Island was a nuanced process. Influenced significantly by the long-standing partnership of Dan Blankenship with the Michigan Group, which included Rick and Marty Legina, along with Craig Tester. This collaboration created a synergistic force, combining the skills, expertise, and resources of the treasure hunting enthusiasts to tackle the enigmas that had perplexed seekers for generations. The Legina brothers brought more than just financial backing to the venture. They brought a deep-seated passion for the treasure hunt, ignited by a Reader's Digest article from the 1960s, same as Dan. This commitment infused a renewed focus into the exploration, creating an atmosphere of anticipation and excitement among those involved. The brothers' dedication, both financial and personal, became a driving force behind the expedition's resurgence. As the Legina brothers delved into the mysteries of Oak Island, their quest transcended the pursuit of personal gain. Their vision expanded to encompass a broader community, leading to the establishment of Oak Island Tours. This company not only facilitated tourist activities related to the island, but also served as a platform to share the historical and cultural significance of Oak Island with the public. It was a move that showcased the Legina brothers' commitment not only to unraveling hidden secrets, but also to preserving and sharing the island's rich history. The establishment of Oak Island Tours in particular became a testament to the Legina brothers' multifaceted approach to the treasure hunt, their journey went beyond the confines of a typical exploration, transforming Oak Island into a destination for history enthusiasts and curious minds alike. The island became a symbol of collaboration, determination, and the enduring quest for the unknown. All in all, the Legina brothers' involvement in the Oak Island treasure hunt became a pivotal chapter in the island's history. It redefined ownership structures, injected fresh energy and financial support, and most importantly, contributed to the island's cultural and historical significance. The establishment of Oak Island Tours stands as a lasting legacy, encapsulating the Legina brothers' dedication to both unraveling mysteries and sharing the captivating story of Oak Island with the world. Is Dave's disappearance connected with the mysteries of the island? The search for the Oak Island mystery and treasure has woven a rich tapestry of theories and speculations reflecting the diverse beliefs and vivid imaginations of those captivated by the island's enduring mysteries. And these speculations can now be seen in the lives of the Oak Island inhabitants. Among these theories, a prevailing notion suggests that the treasure might be the coveted loot of legendary pirates such as Henry Avery and Captain Kidd, perpetuating the timeless allure of hidden pirate fortunes. This idea adds an extra layer of excitement to the treasure hunt, envisioning the discovery of long-lost riches with a swashbuckling history. However, the intrigue surrounding Oak Island's treasure goes beyond mere material wealth. Some speculations get into the possibility that the treasure encompasses more than gold and jewels. These theories propose the presence of intriguing artifacts ranging from Masonic relics to possessions of Spanish inquisitors, adding an element of historical significance to the potential discoveries. Moreover, there's even speculation about undiscovered works by literary greats like Shakespeare. Weaving an imaginative narrative around the cultural and intellectual dimensions of the hidden trove. Venturing into more fantastical realms, an unlikely but intriguing hypothesis emerges, suggesting the existence of a French Revolution vault containing Marie Antoinette's jewels. While captivating, 
The absence of concrete evidence prompts skepticism, positioning such ideas as imaginative possibilities rather than established facts. These theories collectively contribute to the enigmatic aura surrounding Oak Island, inviting treasure hunters and enthusiasts to explore a wide range of possibilities in their quest for hidden riches. The mysterious ties between the treasure and Masonic artifacts contribute an additional layer of intrigue. The secrecy surrounding Masonic symbols and rituals fuels speculation and adds a touch of mystery to the quest. The diversity of these theories reflects the enigmatic nature of Oak Island, inviting enthusiasts to explore a myriad of possibilities in their pursuit of the hidden treasures concealed beneath the island's surface. Adding to the mystique of Oak Island is the rumored curse that permeates its narrative with an air of mystique and peril. Despite the widespread acceptance of the curse, a consistent lack of documentation verifying its origin remains conspicuous. The curse predominantly survives through oral traditions passed down through generations of treasure hunters, casting some doubt on its authenticity. Nevertheless, the rumored curse has indelibly shaped Oak Island's reputation as a mysterious and potentially hazardous location. The persistent mystery surrounding the curse, intertwined with documented deaths, has become an integral facet of the Oak Island narrative. While infusing an element of danger and intrigue, it also underscores the challenges inherent in distinguishing between fact and legend in the relentless pursuit of Oak Island's concealed treasures. As we dive into the mysteries of Oak Island, the absence of Dave Blankenship has stirred speculation, with some even questioning if he met an untimely fate or became entangled in the enigma of the island itself. While the truth behind his departure has been unveiled, the reality remains veiled in the same mystique that shrouds Oak Island. As the Legina brothers tirelessly work to unveil hidden treasures and solve the island's mysteries, the void left by Dave's absence is clear. The narrative of Oak Island continues to unfold, leaving us to ponder the significance of this missing piece in the ongoing saga of discovery and intrigue. What do you think about Dave Blankenship's absence? Share your speculations in the comments section below. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated on the latest content related to Oak Island and other fascinating places.